Hey everyone, Megan O'Levy here in Dallas, Texas with Johnny Hendricks who fights this Saturday at UFC 185. We're going to do one round, so we'll put five minutes on the clock and once the five minutes is up, we'll have to stop this interview, but let's try and fit it all in. First thing I want to ask you about is this Big Rig restaurant. The Big Rig restaurant is uh, something my father-in-law, he's that's what he's done for 20 something years, 30 oh, okay. years, something like that. Crazy. He's opened up nine or 10 restaurants wow. from scratch. He's the guy behind it. And he, when he moved here, we talked about it a little bit. And once he moved here, he was like, are we still gonna do it? And I was like, you know what? Now's pretty good time. So we, we opened it up in Midlothian and, and uh, he's, he's loving it. Is it going well? Yeah, yeah. People love the steaks. They love uh, the atmosphere. You know, it's a family atmosphere. I, I, you know, I try to keep it that way. Uh, we're closed on Sundays. You know what I mean? Since we go to church, I, if yeah. I'm not working, they're not going to work. So I, I sort of like that. Well, so how hard has it been to stay away then from maybe what you want to eat on the menu during this camp since you have your own restaurant? Well, it, that's the beauty of it is I, I can go in there and I can say, I can walk in the back and say, hey, uh, can you get? Can you cut me a four ounce steak? Can I wow. get this? Can I get that? You know what I mean? So Custom I have more. Order. Yeah, so I get more control over my food than just going to a regular steakhouse. This is a big theme for you. There's a, there's a lot of talk about the food. So what what adjustments have you made this camp, and how have they then in turn made you feel? So I eat a, a lot of stuff that Dolce sort of said. Eat chicken, eat salmon, eat deer meat. So everything that I've been eating the last three years, what I've done is I add seasoning to them, and I bought a smoker so I can smoke some chicken, I can smoke my salmon, I can add an extra 100 to, let's say 100 to 500 calories a day on my food, but I, I don't want to eat a McDonald's burger or a Burger King burger. I want to get home to eat the meal that me and my wife prep. And you feel the difference then? Yeah, yeah, you know, every Sunday after church, uh, we have friends that come over and we all meal prep. They bring their kids. The guys are out there grilling or smoking. The women are inside. They're, you know, they're doing their thing. <laughs> and we sort of stay out of each other's hairs until about two hours in. Then we come in and we have, we all have about 16 to 20 meals prep wow. for everybody. So it sounds like for this camp, you've, you've had a really good time, a more relaxed atmosphere than normal? Yes, a lot more relaxed and, and that's what the beauty of it is uh, I got my friends involved in it and you get people that you hang out with every day, sure. then it, 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 it doesn't feel like a, a job. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel like you're hurting yourself to eat healthy. And how preparing for Matt Brown has this camp been then? Uh, it's been great. You know, uh, Matt Brown, he's an exciting fighter. I love watching exciting fighters fight. Uh, so to watch him, to study him, it, and it's also been new to train for somebody new. Matt is known for these knockdown, drag out battles that are so entertaining to watch. But going into this fight, I've got to imagine that's something you, you might not want to do. You know, it doesn't matter to me. I'm, I, I got to prepare for a 15-minute uh, war. Sure. If I don't, then I'm kidding myself. Now, don't get me wrong. I'll be looking for the finish if, I can, exactly. if it opens up. But he's gonna, he's the type of guy that's going to press forward. He's going to do this. He's going to do that. And I have to make sure that I, I'm prepared for that. When you step back and you look at 170 pounds here in the UFC, what are you seeing? I see a very talented, very stacked weight class you haven't seen in a very, very, very long time. You know what I mean? Uh, George did a great great job getting ours on the mat. It's pretty much anybody's game. You know, I feel like it can be mine if I do the right steps. And one of them is get my weight lighter. Don't balloon up to 220. Stay low, stay fit, even though I don't like it. But you gotta do it. And you know, I only got, you know, I might have three, I might have four years, you don't know. Yeah. Definitely at this competitive level. So I wanna make sure that I stay in shape ready to go, so whenever my time comes back to get that belt back, I can keep it. Do you think after beating Matt Brown on Saturday night that your time could be next once Robbie and Roy fight in July? That's what I'm planning for, is that after this fight, I earn my way back to where I want to be, and whatever happens between them two, I'll face the winner probably November, December. We love seeing Johnny Hendricks wrestle. NCAAs are coming out. Are you going to be attending? Are you going to be watching? Well, it just depends how my how this fight goes. I love watching wrestling. I love watching those young men compete for that title. You know what I mean? There's, there, it's something that brings it out of me, you know, the competitiveness. And so I'm really excited about it. Do you get a lot of college wrestlers approaching you about the route to the UFC? Uh, whenever they do approach me, I do say, hey, get yourself ready 
get ready to be punched in the face. If you can, if you can handle that, you have the mindset, you have the will set, you have everything to get to where you want. You know what I mean? But you'd never know what's going to get you in the UFC. It could be one fight. It could be, you know, three fights right. down the road. You know what I mean? Like you just got to play it by ear. Don't lose focus on your end goal. We can still compete and still do something that might benefit us. And I didn't think I'd be any good at it. I mean, I just I just shot out of the dark and said, let's try it. Well, it worked for you, Johnny. Yeah, I've been very blessed. I've been very blessed. You have. Well, unfortunately, our one round is up. Thank you so much for talking to me. It's always such a pleasure. Best of luck to you. Thank you so much. You have a great day. Thanks.